1856, James Buchanan is elected President of the United States. He declares that if Republicans get their way and all slaves are freed, civil war is imminent. 1860, Abraham Lincoln is elected President. His anti-slavery views caused South Carolina to be the first state to secede from the Union that same year. Six more states follow. 1861, after Southern forces fire against Fort Sumter, South Carolina, the Civil War officially begins. Lincoln calls 75,000 people to serve in the North Army. 1863, Lincoln signs the Emancipation Proclamation, thus freeing all enslaved people. 180,000 freed slaves and enslaved people fought for the Union. 1863. But it was the African American spies. African Americans could easily blend in with slaves in the Civil War. Spies could quite easily take the role as a slave right under the noses of their ignorant masters. An excellent example of this is Mary Bowser. In 1843, Mary Bowser was freed by Elizabeth Van Lu. Bowser then got an education in the late 1840s to the early 1850s. She went to Liberia and stayed there until 1860. She then came back to the U.S. and worked for Van Loo's spy ring to infiltrate the Confederate White House. There, she gained access to official papers and confidential meetings, all without Jefferson Davis knowing. This is why African American spies were so successful. The racist Confederates simply did not pay much attention to what they saw as lowly and unintelligent slaves. All Bowser had to do to stay unnoticed was to act dull, ignorant, and oblivious to what was happening around her. Davis did become aware that his house had gotten compromised, but he never suspected Bowser. Bowser then sent her information to her ring leader, Elizabeth Van Lu, who communicated it with Union forces. This intelligence was then used in the defeat of the Confederacy. Another African American spy was W.H. Ringgold. He was forced by the Confederacy to work on riverboats moving troops and supplies. After six months of this forced labor, he came to the North and communicated everything he knew about the Confederate fortifications on the Virginia Peninsula. When the Potomac Army battled in March in 1862, Ringgold provided some of the best information and was a key reason for the defeat of the Confederacy. An additional important African-American spy was Harriet Tubman. Months after the Civil War began, Harriet Tubman was recruited as a Union spy by Governor Andrew of Massachusetts. 
She got information from local slaves and quickly developed a team of scouts who knew the area of Buford, South Carolina very well. In 1862 through 1863, she mapped the region with Confederate vulnerabilities and outspots, which allowed African American soldiers to conduct multiple successful raids throughout the area. In mid 1863, Tubman traveled on multiple gunboats on the Kambahi River to find bombs and disrupt Confederate logistics. Tubman found several spies who placed the bombs and said that they would be granted freedom if they gave information on the locations of the aquatic mines. She then communicated this back to the Union generals. On June 2nd, 1863, gunboats were able to successfully destroy a Confederate depot, seize crops, burn the home and holdings of Confederate sympathizers, and liberate around 800 slaves from local plantations. These are just three spies that worked to defeat the Confederacy, and they did all this and had these great impacts on history. African American spies were a unique and essential method that the Union had in winning the Civil War.